who asked about the Ubendi sect. Let's begin with, they are Muslims. Okay? Unlike when we, it, it's a sect, but they're Muslims. Okay? So what is it all about? We've got to understand the condition during which they were formed as a party and as a sect under the British occupation to India. So a group of the scholars decided to uh, put their efforts and heads together and begin an institute to preserve the Quran, the Arabic language, the Islamic cultural traditions, not the uh, particular uh, region or Indian cultural tradition, the Islamic traditions, the Sunnah of the Prophet وسلم, and so on. It was formed on the year 1857 under the uh, you know, violent British occupation. So the aim was to preserve Islam and to maintain unity among Muslims. Very tough conditions. For that, they taught Arabic, they taught Quran, and they taught Hadith in their institutes, which started spreading all over. And many of the famous scholars belong to the, the Ubandi school. It was called so because it was found in the uh, uh, town of Duband in India. So in fiqh, they follow the madhab of Imam Abu Hanifa, may Allah have mercy on him. And when I say so, the word Hanafi in the, in the mindset of many people, they think Hanafi that everything Imam Abu Hanifa said, that's not necessarily true. Because he didn't have like volumes and books, it was his students later on who continued his way of thinking and deducing the ahkam from the available references and uh, sometimes you give precedence to the school of aql, the intellect, over the school of naql, the text. And they have practiced and applied that accordingly in the concept of aqidah. So they are following the maturidi, madhab of aqidah, which is Abu Mansur al-Maturidi. And um, many of them are following the Naqshabandi sect of the Sufis in the religious practices. So whatever of what they do consign with the sunnah of the Prophet ﷺ, we approve it. And whatever we perceive it as an innovation, then it's a bid'ah and that is rejected. And we give da'wah to anyone and everyone, not only non-Muslims, but Muslims who may adopt certain innovations. And Nabi ﷺ said, Ad-Dinu al nasiha But they are Muslims. And the reason they were found upon was a very noble uh, cause. We need to understand that we do not judge the whole sect or party or group, whether political or religious, all the same. They are not all the same. Some are very extreme and some they really oppose the Sunnah. And some they love the Sunnah and when they know what is the right thing, they do it. When they understand that the deen is not only about one person, rather Imam Abu Hanifa, Al-Shafi'i, wa Malik, wa Ahmad ibn Hanbal, Sufyan al-Thawri, Al-Bukhari, Yahya ibn Ma'in. All those great and noble scholars were looking forward and seeking the truth. Some found it and some made ijtihad and their ijtihad was not necessarily the correct view. But if they knew the correct view, they would have followed it. And they explained that explicitly during their lives.